welcome back to another cult cinema review. Today's feature is Candy Snatchers, 1973 film directed by Gordon Trueblood. Starring Susan Sinnett as Candy, Vincent Martirani, Tiffany Bowling, and Brad David as the three kidnappers. Candy, a good Catholic schoolgirl, is abducted by three kidnappers looking for ransom. Things begin to go wrong when Candy's father neither reports her missing and refuses to pay the ransom. The group of kidnappers disagree about what to do with Candy at this point, and things begin to fall apart, leading to a very nice twist ending. Candy Snatchers is an actually pretty well put together film. The acting is good, the writing's good, the directing's good, the filming's good. Um, if you're looking for uh, a more blood and guts and boobs kind of exploitation films, this really isn't that. It's more a little more psychological and more understated than that, but it's very well done and definitely worth a watch. The young boy in the film is actually played by uh, Gordon Trueblood's uh, real life son. Tiffany Bowling, who played the female kidnapper, regretted doing the film. According to her, she was on cocaine at the time and was upset about her career, and only did the film for the paycheck. She's quoted as saying, The hardest thing for me, as I look back on it, was I had done a television series, The New People, and so I had a lot of young people who respected me, and then I came out with this stupid Candy Snatchers movie. It was a horrendous experience. She went on to star in several more cult-type films, but she's definitely mostly known for being in the Candy Snatchers. So, mistake or not, that is her legacy. This is the kind of film that I feel that if it had, had a bigger budget, better actors, maybe a better writer or director, it could have been a really good like mainstream thriller film. But due to its uh, low-budget nature, it's just a fun little exploitation film. That's going to do it for this review. Remember, if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. Thank you and see you next time.